man. I would need to go back. I would need to get into a time machine, go hang out. So whenever I hung out with all the Irish guys in Korea when we lived out there, I would leave that weekend quoting some of their phrases. But it's been way too long. And also the people, I've been to Belfast a couple of times and they like me. So I don't want to, I, I don't want to annoy him out there. You're gregarious. You're the greatest man alive, man. Oh, I used to, I, I, there was, there were great times when we would go to the bar in Korea and just the Irish dudes I would, I would hang out with. Oh, Norbert, what's the crack? I yeah. love that. What's the crack? I love it. Patrick was from uh, Belfast and he gave me this bar crawl to do when I went out there and we had a great time. But I remember when I first met Patrick, his accent, yeah. like I, his accent just threw me for a loop. I was so intimidated by him. And then eventually I got to know him and I would just put him in headlocks. It's, it's, I love that accent. I love that place. Oh, man. Dig all it. right. All right. What, what about this one? Vincent will sort you out. Maybe you can get Vincent. Vincent will sort you out. I, I, Vincent. Do you want to hear my Michael Caine impersonation? This is how bad oh, I am cool. with impersonations. She was Sorry, only I'll... 16. Like, that's my <laughs> Michael Caine. I'm horrible with impersonations. <laughs> You know, you're about to blow the bloody... Wait, wait, you're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. I can't do it. I can't... I've lost it, Norbert. I cannot do accents. What, what about your De Niro, man? What's in the case? Oh, man. You, you talking to me? De- you, you, you talking to... I can't do it. <laughs> you, What's the color of the boathouse at Hereford? Man. What's the color of the boathouse at Hereford? Come on, you got it, baby. I can't... I, wait, what... What... what, what? <laughs> What's the color of the boat in Hamford? Oh, no, oh, who is that? It's like a guy from Brooklyn right there. Oh, that's bad. I think I can do a Bobcat golf weight. That's about all I can do. Yeah. I sweet chuck. That's it. That's all I could do. Oh, snap, son. Yeah, but... uh, <laughs> Sorry, listeners. My accents are... Are horrible. Just to give you all a heads up. But Norbert, uh, what, another, you, what, what are your? Uh, you guys got to watch this movie, folks. Practice your accents. Go ahead. I'm what sorry. What are your bro. three favorite moments from this movie? <clears throat> so again, why'd you have to kill Larry? Oh, Larry is. It? <laughs> I don't know why that stays with me. I don't know why. I love that, and I'll tell you right now why that part is great. Because I think there is the subtext that she and Seamus used to sleep together. I think so. I think there's absolutely that subtext in that particular scene. And that's why this movie is so good. It's just there are threads that you can pick up and go with. And I think that, oh, Larry, is it? He's like, really? You give a shit about Larry? (laughs) Everyone loved Larry. He was the glue. Larry was the glue, man. Larry made bangers and mash. Larry was a good cat. I think my my third third favorite moment is when... (laughs) When Seamus has has De Niro dead to rights, it's like you stupid shit. Wait, wait what? I just did a I just did a Brooklyn accent for Northern Irish, yeah. uh, but yeah. he calls him stupid, and because mm. he's gonna kill him, he has him dead to rights. But yeah. then Jean Renault pops up out of nowhere and kills him. And I was like, yeah. Right. But then Vincent falls, and I go no. But then he's drinking coffee, listening to the cranberries, and I'm like, yeah. So that's my I've three. Never, I- Never been so happy to see him alive. Agreed. And he's usually <laughs> usually the bad guy or a misunderstood sociopath with a heart of gold, yeah. like in the professional. This is for Matilda. Yeah. 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 Everyone. Yeah. <laughs> the case. Gregor wanted the case. The rations made it. The rations. <laughs> that's, my, that's my bad genre. No. Yeah, that one's really bad. All right, what's your number yeah. two? Okay, number two, what's the color of the boathouse in Hampton? <laughs> huh? What? What's the color of the boathouse in You son... It just chokes him. Because he wants to murder Sean Bean, since Sean Bean is not only incompetent, but almost got him killed. Yeah. And endangered Precious Larry at the same time. Yeah, you don't mess with Precious Larry. I ambushed you with a coffee cup. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great scene, man. And And... To the movie's credit, this movie says, you know what? We're actually not going to kill Sean Bean. Spoiler alert. I love it. They had a, they had a, originally they, they wanted him to die. Like he gets picked up by a car as he's leaving and he's dead. And they wanted the same thing for Deidre too, but they cut that out too. Deleted scene. Yep. Deleted scene on the DVD. That was, that would have been so dark. Oh man. Just come with us if you want to mm. die. 
<laughs> All right, so my number two is when Jean Renault or Vincent talks to his buddy from high school, or so he says, and then yes. the, and when it comes time to knock him out, he's like, you do it, Sam. I, I couldn't live with myself. <laughs> he's such a good human being, yes. He doesn't so, want to punch his friend in the face. So Sam just goes and jack knocks him unconscious. That's just a just. good bit right there. And Sam's like, I got you. Like, it's cool. Like, he didn't even give him a look. He's like, I got it. It's cool. I dig it. It's fine. Okay, okay, so within your Florida bouncer past, right? Mm -hmm. How did Sam knock this guy out so quickly? Like, what? what's the move? It looked like he had the butt of his gun and just hit him right in the temple. Yeesh. Right? Yeah, he he skull cracked him. Oof. Yikes. Yeah. The you more know, you know, folks. One time, I was standing at the door bouncing, and so there was some guy who was mad at me from earlier tonight, and he went to take a punch at me, but he was so drunk he missed and just kind of flew past me. And, <laughs> And then he had already thrown himself in the bar, like, out of the bar. So that I, I was just like, come on, man. I ripped off his um, wristband, and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> that was my you life. Win. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's fatality. <laughs> okay. So I got the color of the boathouse. I got Olaria. What's the color of the boathouse? Wait, no. What was that? <laughs> what, what, I don't even know what that accent was. Which one? I just what's what's the, the color? color what's the color of the boathouse? What's uh, the Lower East, Lower East Side Manhattan? What's the what's the color of the boathouse? Wait. Okay, okay. Look, look, look. I, I I don't do my New York accent often because you know I I teach English. You know I have traveled. You know so I do the code switching. You know, mm -hmm. but every once in a while you get the accent. You know. And then, you know, somebody says, you know, let's go to the park, you know, say, what do you want to do at a park? You know, man, you know, we drink a couple of beers, you know, we might try to pick up a couple of girls, you know, forget about a it. couple of forget about <laughs> it, you know, you know, and, you know, that's even that's even different from, you know, Staten Island, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, what I'm saying we go out there, you know, cast me like, nah, me, you know what I'm saying? See, uh -huh. accents, it happens. <laughs> Affectations. I can't do any of them. Yeah. Yeah, so De Niro, you know, hey, what are you doing tonight? Hey, you know, I might go out on a cat's deli, you know, get a bagel, you know, go check out the Rangers, you know? <laughs> you know, well, you know, Nick's supposed to be playing at the Garden, you know? I think they won three in a row over there, you know? Head over to Tribeca. <laughs> <laughs> get the film festival going over there, over here, over there. <laughs> All right, what's your favorite scene in this movie, Norbert? <laughs> oh, man, life is good, brother. I'm always glad <laughs> This with you. What's your favorite? Uh, uh, Wait, what? The scene where uh, Matt and Sam just gets Ronan explained to him. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You know, I know what you're talking with... about. You know, but you just actually helped me and had a fake surgery. That was, that was some gooey special effects right there. Now pull it. Make sure you get a hold of it before you pull it out. I'm going to pass out now if you don't mind. That exactly. That is my favorite scene because De Niro has been gut shot. He's in spectacular pain. He declines painkillers. And then just, so this is how you dig a bullet out of my stomach. And just details it, man. Get, get the bullet. Get it. Get, get, get the bullet. Make sure you got it. Make sure you got it. Use the gauze. Use the gauze. <laughs> Careful. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to pass out now. Hand me that coffee. And a sandwich. <laughs> But take that sandwich and put it on my wound. <laughs> it's impossible. You can't hold out forever. You can't. Nobody can hold out forever. Oh, Nobody man. Can... <laughs> All right, so number one, huh? It's got to be That's... It's got to be De Niro blowing up the guy with the rocket launcher because I just kept hoping that he would shoot it backwards, like, like in, in the army now. <laughs> Imagine that, Norbert. <laughs> the, the most capable human being on the planet. Yeah. You have this chase scene, and he just shoots the rocket backwards. <laughs> Blows up a villa. <laughs> you got to you gotta understand, man. Suck on this you one saying, time. <laughs> you saying that the number one scene in the movie is De Niro with a rocket launcher is so Florida. I love you. <laughs> it's so Florida. When we went to elementary school, that's what they gave us. <laughs> Here's your Nothing rocket launcher fun. and your bath salts. Your Get out of here, kid. All right, over there, watch that. Watch that gator. Gator gonna come. Gator gonna come. That's what the rocket launcher for. <laughs> Go gator. If you blow it up, I'll cook it. <laughs> oh, man. I've heard gator's good. I meant to try it in Vietnam. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. I mean, it just it tastes like a not-as-good chicken. Yeah. There's really yeah, no point in eating it. Yeah, gamey chicken. 
it's pretty interesting how you get used to gators out there when you live in Florida. Now, obviously, I wasn't riding them, yeah. but yeah. you just see it, and you're like, oh, okay, cool. I see you. And then you – I went canoeing mm-hmm. one time, man. I swear, just a 10-footer went right underneath. I believe it. And one I time, I don't know what happened. Three of us went canoeing. I don't know what they thought. They're like, Mark, you can just take one by yourself. And it was upriver. So I'm going right. to canoe by myself upriver. I, I, I'm a good canoer, but there's only so much you can do going upriver by yourself in a canoe. So when I was right. getting situated, it kind of took me to the side and I started paddling. And I just crammed right into the shore where t- like a gator was just sitting. And it went flying. Like it could have launched itself at me, but it was so scared of me it went somewhere else. But okay. man, that was, that was a really scary moment, Norbert. Well, the PGA, the, the PGA Tour Twitter account, <laughs> lately, they've been posting a lot of videos of just golfers and gators just interacting with each other. So <laughs> you would a, enjoy that. It's a Florida thing, man. It is. It is. They are literally dinosaurs that still roam the earth. I love it. So, hey, yeah. final, final thoughts about this movie before we get out of here. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, and all the ships at sea, Ronin. <laughs> they don't make them like this anymore. <laughs> No CGI, no over-explaining. This is a great date pick. This is a pick if you want an action thriller from the mind of John Frankenheimer. It's literally the last De Niro movie. That's good. De Niro. You know, there was a time when De Niro pictures were a thing. This is the last good De Niro picture, period. Full stop. They don't make them like they used to. They don't. And they definitely don't make them like this anymore. That car chase at six, it still blows me away now, but at 16, man, in the theater, watching that car chase, unbelievable. Doesn't get any better than that. No, not at all. I don't agree with your Fast and Furious PlayStation 4 CGI cutscene car chase, folks. This is what you need to be watching. Right. They don't make them like they used to. No, there's nine of these Fast and Furious folks. How many times do you need to see a car drive into an office building that transforms into an aircraft carrier? For God's sake, Ronin, people. You're a great guy, Norbert, but you just attacked something near and dear to me. (laughs) (laughs) Generational differences, my friend. What can I say? (laughs) You don't understand. Listen, they're not. Trust me, man. When it comes to Ronin and Fast and Furious, they're not even close. It's about family. (laughs) <laughs> where's my corona all right well thank you for joining me man this was great i love you man <laughs> ditto <laughs> i just swayed you man what's the color of the boathouse in Hanford? <laughs> well thank you for joining me man this was great <laughs> all right so for me mark hoffmeyer and for norbert morvan the uh what's the color of the boathouse in Hamp- in the hamptons <laughs> <laughs> That's Long Island. That's not even the right country, you crazy bastard. (laughs) This is Movies, Films, and Flicks. We'll see you next week.